You guys are probably wondering why we are in the bathroom, and uh, on a side note, sorry for that fan noise, I can't get rid of it without turning out the lights, so you'll just have to, you know, live with it. But anyways, um, this is an experiment that is really cool using just a comb. You need a comb and some hair. And so, here's what I'm going to demonstrate it first. So you just get the sink, and you just get it till the water is barely flowing, right? You see that? Just a little bit of flow, but it has to be consistent flow. Then you brush your hair a lot, so your hair's got to be dry, and the comb's got to be dry, so you just brush your hair a lot, right? Now look at this. If you get the comb near the water, the water will actually bend. Here, let me do that again. My hair wasn't very staticky that time. There, that should show up really well. If what I did just did didn't show up, I'm going to be amazed because that was really a lot of bending. Uh, if you get the comb wet, just dry it off because the water ruins the experiment. Anyways, um, here. There's the water. Sorry I can't get it colored or anything, but... Uh, uh, sorry you can't see that. I mean, I'm just going to try to demo this a bit more so you can see it, but it does curve the water. Some hair is more static than others, so usually the more heavy hair you have, it works better, but... There, you should be able to see that is bending the water. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to keep doing this while I explain the way it works. One more time, see how static I can get myself. Oh, that was a good one. There we go. Okay. So the reason this works is that water is what's called a polar molecule. And so polar molecules have a charge. They have a charge negative on one side and a positive charge on the other side. Now in the case of water, the oxygen part is negatively charged and the hydrogen part is positively charged. Now since there are two hydrogens, they both line up on one side and give it a positive charge. So the oxygen has a slightly more positive, so the uh, water molecule has a slightly more positive charge than a negative charge. So, I mean, it's polar, but they, they, the water molecules like to line up, right? And when you rub the comb through your hair, electrons get transferred from your hair to your comb, giving the comb an extremely high negative voltage. This negative voltage attracts the positive voltage from the water, attracts the water's positive voltage. Because what you have is you have the water grounded, right? The water's grounded through the copper pipes. And you have this comb being at a very high negative voltage. Now, opposites attract, right? You have like negative like 10,000 volts and you have zero volts on the faucet. So they're going to attract, the water's going to attract the comb. And if you rub it through your hair a lot, you can probably get it up to negative 10,000 super high static voltages, but um, with very low current. But you can bend water this way and you can get some very uh, violent bending. You just gotta make sure there's a very thin stream of water and it has to be consistent, right? It has to be, it has to have flow, otherwise it's going to, uh, it won't conduct, right? And like I said, it's got to conduct to the copper pipes, which are grounded. Right, um. Uh, I mean, you probably can't see this, but your hair has to be dry for this to work, because if it's wet, it'll just short to the comb, it won't transfer the electrons. So, oh, that was a really good bend. Um, I'm going to try it up the top there again. It's probably easier to see on camera. Sorry for you if I'm taking a long time just doing nothing, but you can, hopefully you can see how this water is being bent. And it just looks so cool to me. Hopefully you can see that the water's not going. 
Yeah. So, thanks for watching. And remember, this happens because the comb has a very high negative voltage because electrons get transferred from your hair to the comb. And the sink has a ground voltage, which is zero volts, as opposed to like negative 10,000 to this thing. And since opposites attract, negative 10,000 is way opposite of zero. The water gets attracted. So remember, the water's got to be a consistent stream and very thin. And the comb's just got to be dry, just like your hair. So try this at home. It's very fun. Thanks for watching.